You look at Call of Duty in the last, I don't know, eight years, and it has slowly deteriorated. It has slowly gotten worse and worse. And there are no hits. There are no Call of Duty greats that have come out in the last five to six years. We've had games that are better than others, but in comparison to previous Call of Duties that were actually good, Black Ops 2, Black Ops 1, Black Ops 3. I know people don't like Black Ops 3, but you know what? Cope Harder is one of the best of all time as well. But ever since Modern Warfare 2019 hit, it has been, and that is five years, it has been a disaster. Black Ops 4 might be the half decent 6 or 7 out of 10 Call of Duty we've had, but my point is is that we are not getting good games. For those of you who think we're getting good games now, that means you're gay. That's a joke. We're just talking about Call of Duty. I know there's a lot of mongoloids who watch these videos who don't understand sarcasm and jokes, so I'm just going to make that clear. But Season 1 has dropped, or is dropping rather, by the intel rather for Season 1, has dropped and it looks gay as fuck, okay? It looks horrible. And when you see... The Trump derangement syndrome tweets that these developers and people who are associated with Call of Duty have been doing since Donald Trump 2024. It's back, baby! I can't believe the guy won. I can't believe he won. He won so big, so big, so huge, that he could not be denied. They couldn't cheat their way out of it this time. It was totally legit. Joe Biden had, had 20 million more gold votes last time. They just, where'd those votes go? They, just didn't, they don't even vote it. They just didn't show us crazy. That's crazy. I don't know, man. It's pretty weird, man. Yeah. Totally, totally shit there, guys. But Donald Trump won, dominated, destroyed, absolutely decimated. Kamala, the African-American Indian queen, a girl brat, you know what I'm saying? Strong, powerful female. And you see the tweets by these Call of Duty developers who are in charge of making these games. And then you realize the people who are making these games are absolute fucking clowns. They are the type of people who are like talking about being triggered and scared. They're brainwashed. They're morons. And I'm going to say this right now. I'm going to keep it real for everybody watching this video. I don't care if you like Trump or don't like Trump. I'm going to have to hit you with the facts, the truth, pack of steel. Keep it real. If you are the type of person who is right now who thinks that uh, Trump is Trump is the Zafira, Zafira and racist and the world is ending and you think it's all bad and oh my god it's gonna be women's rights and it's the end and I'm so scared I'm so upset I have news for you that means you're gay it means you have been brainwashed by the media it means that you have been a victim of lies. It means that you are a bit of a moron, okay? And the mainstream media has been manipulating you. You don't got to love Trump. I get it. Listen, like him or love him. But to be all triggered and scared by him, it's a fact. You have been manipulated. You'll figure it out. You'll see it. Maybe you won't. I don't know. Ideological subversion is really, really strong, and people in cults don't realize they're in cults. And when they're brainwashed, you could like show them the facts, you could show them the evidence right in front of their face with a visual picture, with a signed letter from the person who's been trying to cheat you. And it's really true. A lot of people will just say, Oh, yeah, I don't believe you. But my point of this video, and well, what is the point of the video? The point of the video is that Black Ops 6 is shit, and developers don't know what they're doing. They're a bunch of brainwashed, brain dead libtards. And you just have to look no further than their tweets to see that this is the type of slot we're getting. And season one comes out, and look, look at this, look at this character. Look at the season one road trip here, the road to season one. Like the main character looks like a lesbian Antifa, powerful, strong, Halle Berry bullshit, 120 pound female that could barely even carry the M60, let alone even shoot it or be on the front line without getting power slammed by an average sized male that's why i can't watch movies anymore they put these powerful females oh yeah like as if they're like a five foot five 130 pound female somehow gonna drop kick like a grown ass sas agent or some kind of uh, navy seal or terrorist or whatnot and like oh, she's gonna win that fight like no she literally would be picked up and thrown through a wall and murdered faster than i could bust a nut to Joe Biden's sexual, I mean, sorry, got carried away. I mean, Kamala, I'm not gay, hashtag equality. Hey, speaking of Hutch, is that guy on Suicide Watch or what? No, he's not. Hutch is so hyped that Trump won. All these people on the left that make YouTube videos and complain about the Trump and all that kind of stuff are happy, don't let it trick you here, are super happy that Trump won. I know I'm going to ram tangent. Hutch used to be in Call of Duty. Now he's a political grifter like Hassan Abi. Hutch is so happy because now we can sit here and grift his stupid audience and complain about Trump and just talk a bunch of bullshit while getting subs and money while he just simply plays a role as a libtard. I mean, maybe he is. I don't know. But he's super pumped. He's going to be able to do four more years of making money, talking trash about Trump, and uh, just grifting people on lies. Now, speaking of lies, I want to point out something here by these people. See, everyone who hates Trump or hates this whole situation, they're all just brainwashed. So there's this broad named Shanice 
who I think is a community manager on the big people at Call of Duty. And she says, thinking about something black kids grow up being told, have to work twice as hard, be twice as good to get half as much. Bullshit. There wasn't like a thing called affirmative action where it was actually less was needed from black people and other minorities to get into schools and people who are like Asian or white or Jewish required higher than actually everyone else. And then the Asian kids actually sued Harvard and all of the Ivy League schools had to drop that affirmative action where they required higher marks from them and lower marks from the black students and other minorities. Isn't that, wasn't that like, so yeah, that's false. But anyways, we're like, we're not 1950s here, Shanice. It's over. Seeing it play out on this level is a harsh reminder, but for black women, not unexpected or surprising. Oh my God. Did you know that like minorities voted for Trump more so than anybody else but we had the black president number one paid comic in the world is black number one paid celebrity in the world actor is black the number one most paid athletes in the world are black I mean Jesus Christ Trump's team is entirely filled with all kinds of different national athletes and racists I mean obviously a lot of white people up in there I mean that's what you know dominates both sides mostly white people because they're the best Oh, it's a joke again. I'm going to get banned. I'm in big trouble. We can't make racist jokes on this channel on YouTube. But we're not done. We're not done. It gets even stupider with the Shanice broad. Process played out. America made its choice. I voted in my best interest and in the best interest for all women and all minorities. Majority did not. Did not. Nope. Tough pill to swallow. Unsure what we can do or how to organize right now, but we must. Now you fucking lost, Shanice. Be tired. Be sad for now, but we can't be done. No, you're done. You're done. Like, what are you, what are you denying the election? You're going to fight against it? It's over. Like, you know, in four years, you know, you'll lose again because Trump's going to show how amazing of a job he's doing and all his nonsense and lies. Everybody thinks they've been hearing from mainstream media and a bunch of fucking propaganda CIA agents. Operation Mockingbird is going to expose the whole thing. In the meantime, high level on Project 2025. Project 2025, there's another hoax. Like that Liz Cheney, a hoax. The whole thing is a hoax. Everything that these people say in the media, in the news, is all half-truths taken out of context lies. Project 2025, Trump has already separated himself from that. Okay. He already has blacklisted anybody associated associated with 2025 to ever work with him or to be hired or work in the White House. Just putting it out there. Like, openly, you can find that. Uh, it's all just, even like the fact checkers and Snopes fact check this, but the media, they lie. Like, honestly, the media is dead. Like, anybody who watches the news and believes anything you hear from MSBC, CNN, even Fox News, like 60% is bullshit on there, too. All that's nonsense. It's over. Mainstream media is filled with lies, and it's just propaganda. This election showed that. It's over. Like, podcasts, Twitter, other kinds of media that you find online from independent people. But anyways, my point is, is like, these people make these video games working at these places are nothing but a bunch of brainwashed liberals morons who are dumb ill-informed well they are informed their brain is filled with a bunch of lies that have been filmed by propaganda by the media and those people who wish to push that propaganda like corporations and the cia's and uh, the agents and whatnot people who hate trump and hate the right who stand to lose money and lose power if he wins so they use the media to push their nonsense and then you look at the video games and you wonder why it's filled with a bunch of propaganda nonsense like blonde hair purple hair blue haired weirdos you know powerful strong females in the game shitty ass maps shitty ass kind of creation because people who work there as i said it's like a million times like a frick -a, frick -a, frick a broken record they hire people based upon the ideologies they fit in or the people that apply for jobs that fit into those ideologies there's no creativity there's no one pushing against the status quo and it be creates un it creates uncreative shit slop garbage garbage that's why gaming sucks now that's why most a lot of entertainment is trash and that's why society is going down the fucking tubes but hopefully hopefully this sign of the popular vote that donald trump won donald trump won the election the popular vote he absolutely decimated like one of the most not not one the greatest comeback in a political history and one of the greatest wins the tide is turning the tide is turning the majority of people vote even though like half the population only voted and a lot of people walking around me who didn't vote are waking up to this and it is a child there's a time the times they are changing as they say things are starting to turn around in canada trudeau is 100 percent gone for those in america who don't know because you don't really pay attention to the outside of your world because you think it's like a world of us around america but there's you know seven billion people outside the walls of america i know canada Canada's fucking irrelevant. I'm not saying it is. The place fucking sucks. Filled a bunch of morons. This country is pretty much lost. But 
Trudeau has like a 19% approval rating through everybody. I'm even talking in the cities where all the liberal weenie babies live who uh, go march for indigenous rights and kids' graves and whatnot, which are never actually even showing up, but the government's too pussy to actually call them out on their nonsense. Mass graves. Yeah, well, where's the, where's the bodies? I don't know. It's been like five, six years without filing yet, but you know what? They're just graves. They're just graves, people. That's for my kiddies up here watching the video who know what's going on. What was the point of this video? Uh, the people who work at Call of Duty and work in entertainment media, this Trump election proved that they're a bunch of brain-dead, ridiculous people emotionally people mentally unwell people and it creates shitty content for us to play and uh, i hope things are changing nonetheless i'm ghost of eight thanks for watching the video stay black question the video question the video yeah question the video yeah it's question everything i said in this video but uh you know hey stay black question authority which i am and don't time cracker tell me shapes with the movie of the time to get white man bring it down